Hi guys, uh, Pro Beer TV is still on the road and still on the Rotterdam Beer Festival and with me is uh, the tallest brewmaster on the whole festival. It's uh, people say it like that. People, people say it like that. <laughs> uh, but but there's a good reason for <laughs> why they say it. Uh, you are quite tall. It's um, Wojtek from uh, uh, Solid Beef Go. Yeah. Um, uh, for those of, of our viewers who don't know your brewery, uh, let's uh, introduce your brewery a little bit. Um, when did you start? Uh, where are you located? And uh, do you have your brew house? Uh, your gypsy Brewers. I am a Gypsy Brewery. Uh, I'm starting. Uh, uh, from home breweries okay. in uh, 2011. Okay. Uh, and uh, now I'm uh, I, I'm from Wrocław, but uh, so this is your, your home festival yeah, here. My home festival, but I'm f uh, brewing. Uh, my brew house is uh, not not mine. It's uh, yeah. uh, Browar Zarzecze uh, is uh, in uh, Zarzecze. Okay. So. Um, Last year, uh, your barrel-aged milk stout yeah. was my favorite beer of the whole festival, and I, uh, the, the the memory card got fucked up, uh, so I couldn't do the the uh, review on the video. But uh, I will pick up a bottle of the uh, um, the regular milk stout and uh, I review it on um, on my channel. But what I'm having here today, what this is a oatmeal uh, IPA. Okay. IPA, uh, very traditional, very normal, uh, uh, normal beer. So normal beer. Normal so beer. I, I take your room. Very wow! It's a New England IPA, the Vermont IPA. I, I, I've never heard the the uh, term Vermont IPA before I came to this festival, but. Uh, uh, after I went to some stands, um, the Vermont IPA seems to be like the New England IPA, but um, wow, this is kind of fruity, but, but we have a, so many tropical fruits in there. We have a more tropical uh, version, uh, because this is an oatmeal uh, IPA. This is an oatmeal IPA? Oat, oatmeal IPA. Okay. And uh, tomorrow, because... But uh, we, this we tastes, like, tastes like, a, like, like, a, like a New England IPA. Uh, smells like very fruity. Yes, because we use many hops. Okay. But we have a tropical Vermont IPA, no more, no? And this okay. is much more fruity. Uh, uh, what, with what, it. What, what's this called? What is this called? Yeah, the, the name of the, the beer. name Marlon. 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 Okay. Like Marlon Brando. Yeah, but still, it has a lot of hops, lots of fruitiness, juiciness. Good drinkability. What's the ABV on this one? ABV is uh, uh, well on 14. 14? 14. You're kidding. A uh, no, no, ABV. no. 5.8. Uh, 5.8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14. It would, it, so 14 was the gravity. Yes. Yeah. yeah mm. Because I, I tasted so many crazy be uh, beers here on the festival, and um, if it would say uh, yeah. so, uh, the ABV is 14, and this, I would say yeah, okay, yeah, but oh, <laughs> but okay, it's 5.8. So yeah. nice drinkability, nice fruitiness, and and it's an IPA, but I'm I'm a little bit oh no, the bitterness comes in the back. Yeah, yeah, it comes in the end. What's the, the IBU? You, you don't have it? Uh, 68. 68. 68, which is uh, quite quite high for for uh, European tongues uh, for an IPA. But still, this is so well balanced between sweetness and bitterness. So, congratulations on this one. Thank you. And um, for our viewers, last time I had the the, the barrel aged milk stout. Yeah. And you told me, uh, you're wearing the t-shirt, the Baltic yes. Abyss is still one point higher than uh, the barrel aged yes. milk stout. Yes, because it's the Imperial Baltic Abyss. Yeah. And Imperial Baltic uh, Porter uh, aged in uh, whiskey, uh, whiskey, uh, whiskey cask. Whiskey bar. Whiskey so, barrels. I'm gonna buy a bottle of this one immediately and review this on my channel and we find out whether it's the beer of the year. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, it's a point or two point higher than Barrel Niggas. Wow, Barrel Niggas was five or six out of five, but we'll check the, the um, 
the uh, Baltic uh, Abyss. Wojtek, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. And hope to see you next year on the festival. We will be here. And now I get a bottle of this, your beer, and review it at home. So, cheers everybody. Cheers. Thank you guys.